We chose to model aortic blood flow for our system dynamics presentation because hemodynamics is a very interesting topic. Here is the basic outline of what this presentation will be covering. We will cover the background of what the aorta is and how the cardiac saddle works. Variables and parameters will be defined and explained. Then we will go into the details of how to model aortic blood flow using all three types of Winkessel models. We will then discuss our results and finally our conclusions. The aorta is a part of the human circulatory system and its largest artery. The cardiac cycle involves the heart pumping blood throughout the human body each time it beats. The cardiac cycle is a closed loop postulate system. There are two phases of the cardiac cycle, diastole and systole. During diastole, the ventricles are relaxed and allow blood to flow in. During systole, the ventricles contract and eject blood into the body throughout the aorta. The aortic pressure is at maximum during systole and minimum during diastole. Aortic blood flow is commonly modeled using the Winkessel model. The Winkessel model was designed in the late 1800s by German physiologist Otto Frank, who is pictured in Figure 2. This model describes the heart and systemic arterial system as a closed hydraulic circuit containing a water pump connected to a chamber. The Winkessel models are used to represent the load undertaken by the heart during the cardiac cycle. It relates blood pressure and blood flow in the aorta. There are three kinds of Winkessel models, two element, three element, and four element. The aortic blood flow is extremely important to model. The model can be used to analyze effects of drugs and also develop mechanical hearts. The Winkessel models are created using a combination of RC and RL circuits that take into account the following parameters. First, the arterial compliance refers to the elasticity of the aorta during the cardiac cycle, and it is modeled as a capacitor. The total peripheral resistance refers to the resistance blood may encounter during flow, and it is modeled as a resistor. These two parameters are used in all three types of Winkessel models. Aortic valve is another resistor model that is used in the three and four element Winkessel models only. Inertia of blood flow is modeled as an inductor and is used in the four element model only. The input blood flow is modeled as current and the output blood pressure is modeled as voltage. Table 1 displays the value of normal human parameters used in the Winkessel model. The total peripheral resistance is calculated using average human blood pressure, central venous pressure, and cardiac output. The arterial compliance is calculated using the change in blood flow volume over the change in pressure. The calculations for these parameters are shown in the next two slides. The resistance to blood flow and blood inertia is only taken into account for the three and four element models and was found in existing literature. As previously stated, there are three different types of Winkessel models. They are the two element model, the three element model, and the four element model. As the number of elements is increased, a new physiological factor is accounted for and therefore the more accurate the results are. The two element model is the simplest, while the four element is the most complex. For the purpose of this presentation, only the two element and three element models are analyzed in depth, while the four element model is talked about on a basic level. The fluid system analogy shown in figure 3 that the Winkessel model is based off of is then broken down into a combination of RC and RL circuits in order to analyze. The following assumptions are made in order to analyze the models. First is the cardiac cycle starts at systole and next is the period of the systole is two-fifths the period of the entire cardiac cycle. The two element model is the most simplified model used. It consists of a resistor in parallel with a capacitor. The input is the blood flow, which is the current, while the output is the blood pressure, which is a voltage source. Combining the resistor and capacitor simplifies the circuit, which allows Ohm's law to be used in order to find the transfer function. The value for R was calculated by subtracting the average human blood pressure and central venous pressure, which was found online, and then dividing by the cardiac output, which was also found online. The value for C was calculated by dividing the change in arterial blood volume by the change in blood pressure. The transfer function is boxed and represents a first order system. Therefore, the time constant can be calculated. The time constant for the system is found to be 0.8316 seconds. 
The three element model is slightly more accurate than the two element model. It consists of a capacitor and resistor in parallel. Those two elements are in series with another resistor, which represents resistance to blood flow. Combining the big R value and C value gives an impedance. That impedance value is in series with the little r. Using Kirchhoff's voltage law, the transfer function can be found. The same values were used for r and c as in the two element model. The value for little r was found in existing literature and is said to be negligible compared to the other resistor. However, it is still used in the model. This model, in contrast to the two element model, has one pole and one zero. The transfer function also represents a first order system, however polynomial division is needed in order to put it into standard form. The four element model offers a relatively good approximation to the real biological system. However, this model is also the most complicated. The main difference between the four element model and the others is that it takes into account the blood flow inertia and represents it as an inductor. The electric analog of the four element model is shown in figure 5. Figure 6 shows the transfer function of a four element model, which is clearly a second order system. Figure 7 also shows the Simulink model, which consists of two feedback controllers and a feed forward controller. After deriving the transfer function by hand for the two element model and the three element model, their respective differential equations were solved for and put into MATLAB in order to graph. All parameters used in the code were mentioned on the, param the parameters slide. The analysis is for five cardiac cycles. The code works by first determining the input signal of blood flow with respect to time and then plotting that function. The main basis for the code is a for loop going through each different cycle, one through five. In addition, since differential equations were used, the initial conditions were first stated. The pressure at the beginning of the cycle is 80 millimeters of mercury, since that is the value of human blood pressure during the diastole phase. The next part of the code is included in the same for loop that was shown in the previous slide. Figure 9 shows a solution to a differential equation found by the two-element model. Since the model is simple, the solving was done by hand using differential equation techniques. There are two differential equations found, one for systole and one for diastole. The differential equations for systole is solved for using an integrating factor. The differential equations for diastole is more simple since the blood flow, I of t, would be set to zero and becomes a homogeneous differential equation. Figure 10 shows the solution to a differential equation found by the three element model. Since it is more complicated differential equation, the ODE45 solver in MATLAB was used to determine the solution. Figure 10 shows some of the individual results for the two element Winkessel model and the three element Winkessel model. The first plot shows the blood flow input signal. The second plot shows the pressure in millimeters of mercury over a period of five cardiac cycles for the two element model, while the third plot also shows the pressure in millimeters of mercury over a period of five cardiac cycles for the three element model. As time goes on, the pressure will eventually reach a steady state value. As expected, the blood pressure varies between 80 millimeters of mercury and 120 millimeters of mercury since those values are the blood pressure of a healthy human during the diastole and systole phases of the cardiac cycle. Figure 11 shows a comparison of the two element model and the three element model. The comparison shows only one cycle. It seems as though the models are very close to being the same, but since the three element model takes into account an extra physiological factor, the results are slightly more accurate. Overall, a healthy human heart can successfully be modeled with any of the Winkessel models. Two element models and three element models yield similar results. However, the three element model is more accurate. Blood flow in this simulation was modeled as a perfect sine wave. However, in the real world, this is not the case. Blood pressure can be accurately represented using Winkessel's models.